Hello, foodie fans. I'm so excited for this movie. We've been This movie's been a, a month in the making. Um, this movie meal is... I'm finally doing my Gone with the Wind movie meal. I'm so excited I can't even talk. <laughs> All right, this movie is my movie, my absolute most favorite movie in the entire world. I've read the books. I've got memorabilia. I've got uh, a nice collection of Gone with, the, Gone with the Wind stuff. Unfortunately, it's all packed up, so I don't have anything right now. Um, but uh, we've got an awesome menu plan today. We're going to do, frankly, my dear, I don't give a ham. We're going to be doing sweet potato gratin. We're doing uh, Scarlet's Georgia Peach Cobbler. And we're doing the Scarlet O'Hara Cocktail, which is my favorite cocktail in the world. And we're doing the Red Butler Cocktail. So we're going to get started on our peach cobbler in just a minute, so we'll be right back. All right, we're going to start with our uh, Scarlet's Georgia Peach Cobbler. This is a super easy, simple peach cobbler recipe. I love peach cobbler. It's so good. Uh, we're going to take uh, half a cup of butter. We're going to pour it in our 9 by 13 pan. And we're going to make sure it gets all the way around there. Okay. Then we're going to work on our batter recipe. Uh, we've got one cup of flour. We've got a cup of sugar. Two teaspoons of baking powder. All right, we're going to whisk that together. Okay, we're going to add one egg. A little shell got in there. Can't help that. We are going to add two thirds cup of milk. Aren't these the cutest things you've ever seen in the world? Look at that. That is adorable. That is freaking adorable. All right. Just perfect for my baking because nobody around here drinks milk. All right. So we've got two-thirds cup of milk that we're going to add here. Break that yolk. Mix this up really good. All right. Flip my thing over here. Okay, so we've got our batter going. Get that mixed up. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, we're going to pour our batter over the butter. Make sure our butter's all spread around real nice here. We're going to pour our batter in. Get it. Make sure we get all of that out of the bowl. You don't want to waste any of that beautiful goodness. So, we make sure we spread it out all over the pan. And that butter, that butter is just all over in there too. I love butter. All right. So, we're going to take our, take our spatula here. We've got two cans, uh, two regular size cans of peaches. So we've got about 30 ounces of peaches here. One cup of sugar. We're going to do a teaspoon of cinnamon. A little more, uh, I like cinnamon. I'm going to do half of a teaspoon of nutmeg. So, oh, look, it's a brand new nutmeg. Never opened. I love it when I find stuff like that in my pantry. All right, so half a teaspoon of nutmeg. We're going to mix this all up like so. Okay. There. Look at that. Cover all those peaches with that nice sugary cinnamon goodness there. All right. Then we're going to take the peaches and we're going to sprinkle them all over the top here. sure they go all the way across. You don't mix it in. Just place them on top. Like so. Make sure they go all the way around. Like that. Okay? Get, get your cinnamon and sugar out of there. Sprinkle it on top. Don't leave all that in the bowl. 
All right, so this is what our peach cobbler looks like. Now, we're gonna stick it in our oven for at 350 degrees for about 35 to 45 minutes. And then when it's nice golden brown, we'll take it out. All right, we're gonna start on our sweet potato gratin. The reason I picked sweet potatoes is um, I had heard a story that in the book, uh, when the Yankees came through Terra, they took everything, all the chickens, all the meat, all the vegetables. The only thing they didn't take was sweet potatoes because they didn't know what they were. So that's all that everybody had to live on was sweet potatoes. I don't remember that part in the book, but I read it online, so I'm going to have to go through and reread that book to see that. But anyway, sweet potatoes are a big staple uh, down in Georgia, down south, and we love sweet potatoes. So we're going to make this gratin. We start with, I took uh, about three to three uh, sweet potatoes and I shredded them or you could slice them but I shredded them and you're going to add a couple tablespoons of brown sugar and this is to taste so if you want more or less brown sugar you go for it however you want it I like a little more and then cinnamon so a couple teaspoons of cinnamon or to taste you know however you want to do it I like a little bit sweeter, not too sweet, but just enough. All right, and you mix that in there. We're gonna pour this in our baking dish or a casserole dish here. Oh, there, that should be good enough. We don't need too much because I'm probably gonna be the only one that eats it. All right, then we take heavy whipping cream and you're gonna pour it over the top. Uh, recipe says about a half cup, but you want to make sure that it's all covered. Okay. Yeah, we're going to pour. Actually, we're going to pull the whole thing in there. Because, you know, I just, I, I don't have enough rolls on my body as it is, so I'm going to pour some more cream in there. Anyway, it's starting to look like mammy. All right, so that's what our sweet potato gratin looks like there. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more brown sugar on top. There we go. Then I'm going to stick it in the oven for an hour to bake. So we'll come back and check on it in about an hour. Rhett, wherever shall I go? Whatever shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a hand. Everybody, we're going to start on our, frankly, my dear, I don't give a ham. And basically what it is, it's uh, ham steaks with a maple bourbon glaze. Uh, so what I've got here, I've got some beautiful ham steaks. And I made the glaze. We've got, uh, we've got uh, syrup on there, some maple flavored syrup. with uh, some bourbon, soy sauce garlic and there's some dijon mustard in here so i mix this up and we're going to take and we're going to baste our or we're going to pour it over our ham here okay now I'm, i've got the oven set at 350 our gratin is still in there cooking so i'm going to stick this in and I'm going to baste this until these ham sticks are done. They're fully cooked ham, so I'm just going to bring them up to temp. And we're going to glaze these. So we'll come back and check on them. All right, our gratin is done. It looks gorgeous. So we're going to set this aside. And we're going to wait for our ham steaks to get done. Um, in the meantime, we'll work on our cocktails. Today I'm making both the Scarlett O'Hara and the Rhett Butler cocktail. The Scarlett O'Hara cocktail is my go-to everywhere I go. Um, really easy. It's Southern Comfort. I like I like a good amount of Southern Comfort. Um, cranberry juice. And usually it's a twist of lime. I do not have lime, so we're going to do some lime juice. So. That is the Scarlet O'Hara cocktail. Mmm. My absolute favorite. Mmm. But, today we're going to be doing the Rhett Butler cocktail as well. 
It is also a th Southern Comfort recipe. Um, so with our shaker, we're going to do one and a half ounces of the Comfort. Half an ounce of lime juice. Okay. We're going to do a teaspoon of triple sec. Okay, maybe a little more than a teaspoon there. Um, teaspoon of lemon juice. And a half a teaspoon of sugar. Maybe a little more. It's not very sweet, it looks like. We're going to give it a good shake. And we're strain it into our glass there. we got some little fruit flies flying all over here. Okay, now this is our Rhett Butler cocktail. Oh, I'm in love. If I wasn't in love with Clark Gable before, I am now. This is wonderful. Mm. All right. So there we go. We've got our cocktails. Um, and then we're going to put the rest of our meal together. All right. So our Gone with the Wind movie meal is complete. We've got our, um, frankly, my dear, I don't give a ham. We've got our sweet potato gratin, which is amazing. Uh, we've got our Scarlet's Georgia Peach Cobbler, um, our Scarlet O'Hara Cocktail, and our Rhett Butler Cocktail, which is unfortunately gone because this was fabulous. <laughs> this was so good. Um, so there we are. We have our... Whoa, where are you going? We have our movie meal here. Um, please keep watching. Thank you for those that support me in this. Please keep watching. And we'll be coming back with some more movie meals here in the future. And have a great day, everybody.